On this edition of Power Nation Garage, I drive a vehicle powered by a propeller. Yeah, I'm not making this up. Hey guys, welcome to Power Nation Garage. Every now and then we have a chance to step out of the garage and check out some really cool stuff, kind of like this 1932 propeller driven vehicle. Have you seen anything like this ever? Either have I. Take a look. Located in Nashville, Tennessee is the Lane Motor Museum, which is home to over 500 unique vehicles that are kind of strange from all over the world. And the coolest part is they're all drivable. Let's take a look inside. What's up guys, I'm Gannon Pritchard hanging out with David with the Lane Motor Museum here in Nashville, Tennessee. And we have a lot of cars around us, but this one has a propeller on the front of it and it's just weird. Tell me about this thing, because this is my favorite car you got here so far. This is a 1932 Helicron. This is one of one, it's made in France. A uh, gentleman decided that he would sort of follow the bandwagon of other uh, engineers in France at the time that were building propeller driven cars. There was a, a a surplus of V-twin engines left over after World War I and people were looking for lightweight methods of transportation that they could build out of those. Yeah. And one of the ways was propeller-driven cars. Wow. Uh, propellers don't have a lot of torque when you're pulling something on, against gravity. Uh, unlike a plane, you know, this has the friction of the street and everything. By having a propeller drive, you don't have a transmission, you don't have a drive shaft, no differential, so it takes a lot of weight out of the car. Wow. You take the weight out of the car, then you don't have to have as big a tire. And if, if everything's lighter, the brakes can be smaller. So it made sense to them at the time. So one thing that's cool about the Lane Motor Museum, all these cars you see here are running, right? Like just about everything Just about all runs. these cars. Yep. And some of them you're gonna be like, there's no way that runs. Like I would have never thought this would run. Apparently yeah. this runs. And a lot of the parts are, you know, from the, the chassis, the wood, you know, construction mm -hmm. to the suspension. I guess they're original, huh? Yeah, this was originally a chassis that belonged to a different kind of car called a Rosengart, okay. which was a, uh, a rear engine car. What they did, and it was conventional, it steered in the front, engine in the back. It was sort of like a Renault Dauphine or okay. a Volkswagen Beetle. What they did is they took that chassis and just turned it around. Huh. But being an old car chassis, it was pretty heavy. Yeah. And of our propeller driven cars, and this is not our only one, this is probably the heaviest, the heaviest. And, and least least powerful as far as performance. Well, now the million dollar question, since it's here and a lot of your cars run, do you think we could drive it? Well, it's a pretty nice day. I think it'd be hard to be a good one. I've got an extra set of goggles here for you. <laughs> all right, let's do it then. All right. I'm glad you said that. So, hey, let's go see what it's all about. It's real now. We're out. We're outside <laughs> in this airplane car. To start it, you just push in the key, push this little button up here. Yeah. And it starts the engine. Okay. Hand throttle here for when you're outside the vehicle, you can help push. Okay. And then there's a foot brake where you'd expect, and also a hand brake over here, which is a lot of times easier to manage. <laughs> I really can't believe they let me do this. This is badass. <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. David, this is awesome, man. Hey guys, I'm Gannon Pritchard and I just drove an airplane car. <laughs> wow, there you have it. What a cool experience here at the Lane Motor Museum. David, thank you so much oh, for showing me around. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be back quite often. I'm actually letting you guys know we are coming back more times because there's too many cars here. There's like, how many cars do you have? About 500. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna come back and we're gonna pick out weird and wacky and awesome cars because they have it all here. They have stuff here that is gonna blow your mind. I'm Gannon Pritchard. This is PowerNationTV.com and we'll see you down the road.